Hey y'all, it's Betsy and Mom from Happily Ever After, etc. And today we are doing a very sad cruise video. We are getting off the ship. Mm. <laughs> we hate the end of a cruise and we realize that we've never filmed a disembarkation video, even though we filmed lots of getting on the ship videos. Okay. Obviously that's more exciting yes. than getting off. Yes. So it is oh dark 30 in the morning because you always have to get off the ship much earlier than you like so that they can clean the ship for the next group of people. We are in our cabin. You put your big suitcases out the night before if you want them to take them off the ship. They will give you a piece of paper in your cabin with all the information about that. And then you'll get one of these tags. We got group number one, which means when we put out our bags with our names on them, there will be a corresponding group outside the ship says number one and our bags will be in number one and they usually go all the way to like 20, 20. like there's a lot yeah. usually we're number one because i'm diamond mom's diamond Ooh. so we're usually priority guests are number one number two those earlier yes. ones in case you need to get off the ship so we are all packed the first thing you want to do in the morning is get rid of all your stuff in your room because probably not coming, coming back. back so gone through all the drawers, gone through the bathroom. I've checked under the beds. Yeah. We are now going to go to breakfast. So you can either go up to Lido for breakfast or we're going to go to the main, dining, um, main room. dining room. But usually that closes earlier, closes at 830 today. And then we'll get off the ship. So let's so, go. So long, Kevin, for 30, 41, 39. Did you forget where we live for I did. a couple weeks? 41, 39 is the same shit cabin we had last year and this year. So we have lived in this cabin for, for at least over two months. Two months, yeah. Almost six weeks. Six weeks, yes. Let's go to breakfast. Bye. All right, when you're leaving your room, right here in your mailbox that you've used all crews, is usually your bill so if you have a balance that you need to pay before you get off the ship it'll be on there if you have anything that you bought or paid for or got a drink the entire cruise it'll be on there there's a lot of zeros yeah you want to look it over oh sad here's frankie kicking us off just want to give you a quick little update, and of course, a heads up on how this is going to work this morning. We are waiting for general clearance. Again, we do not have general clearance to start debarkation yet. Uh, please wait. Uh, again, if you're all out and about waiting for those shuttle posts, and a lot of people have the shuttles for 7 or 7.15 tickets. There's no need to start heading to the gangway yet. We do ask you to actually stay clear of deck number 3. Do not come down to deck number 3 to where the gangway's at, folks, until we call your group and down to the gangway. Again, I'm not otherwise noted uh, on the letter sent to your room. So once again, we ask that you keep deck number three completely clear. Wait anywhere around the ship except on deck number three. Deck number three is not a waiting area. Once you get started, it'll get a little busy with traffic, and we want to make Back sure to we keep all the walkways clear. <laughs> so please do not congregate any elevator lobbies, the stairwells, and then the open up public areas on deck three. Filming something else, but this works. Anywhere around the ship on deck number two, upstairs on deck number nine. You can even wait in your room until around 8 o'clock. Um, Not right in our room. We're going to break. Deck number three, unless uh, a letter was sent to your room saying otherwise. Again, for those guests who have those early shuttles at seven or seven fifteen, please note, folks, those shuttles are not leaving at seven and seven fifteen. That's when we start. Again, uh, don't worry. They know that you're uh, there. That you're going to be waiting to grab those shuttles. Again, we have the shuttles all lined up outside uh, of the terminal, and as soon as we start with general clearance, again, you will start filling up the first bus, and we'll send it as soon as we get All right, Frankie, we full. get it. So, again, Go away now. So, just wanted to give everyone a heads up. No need to stress. Again, we should be starting debarkation around 7.15 as advertised. Uh, 7.15 or 7.30 or so. But again, we should be starting a little bit earlier than that. I just wanted to let everyone know once we do get started, we still will start with carry-off debarkation. Remember, that means you kept all your luggage with you and didn't check your luggage outside your room last night. If you did check your bags, we are, of course, working hard to get all that luggage off the ship. And as soon as that luggage is sorted outside, we'll start letting you know as well. But once again, folks, I'm going to kindly ask that you please do not start heading down to the gateway as of yet. Once the ship gets cleared by local authorities, I will let you know the second it happens, and we'll get you moving so you can make your transportation. I do thank you for your attention and cooperation, everyone. And here we should be cleared around the 7.15 or so, if not before. I will keep you posted, uh, and we'll let you know throughout the morning. I thank you for your attention, and enjoy your day. Boop. Thank you. 
Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. All right. This thank is you for so you. Thank you. And thank you so much, Angela. You were such a good survivor. Bye bye. So we got interrupted by Frankie, our cruise director, telling everyone not to go stand in the gangway. And we gave our room steward his tip. If you're going to give your room steward or your uh, waiter or any of the people who've helped you on the ship a tip, an extra tip, we always prepare gratuities. Now's the time to do it. And what I was telling you is when you get that bill in your mailbox, you want to look it over and make sure there's no charges that you don't recognize because if you want to dispute any of those charges you gotta do it before you get off the ship or you're paying them all right we're going to breakfast now all right we're pretty early for breakfast there's not a lot of people in the dining room yet so well, i think a lot of people are just waiting a lot of people go to lido but since we are spending the night in rome tonight we don't have to get off the ship immediately but there's no taxis in Sidavecchia. Yeah. I know I say that wrong. Um, so we had to schedule a taxi and he's going to be out there at 8 30. So we've got a little time for breakfast. All right, breakfast. You ready, mom? Yes. Ready, ready. I have omelet and crispy bacon. She did get crispy bacon. Mm. It's the way I like it. I like not as crispy bacon. Breakfast time. All right, we are done with breakfast. So we're leaving the dining room. We've still got about half an hour before we have to get off the ship and find our bags. So we're just gonna go sit down and wait to get off. If you do have a balance on your bill or a discrepancy, now's the time to go to guest services and take care of it. We had a single dollar on our bill from a drink we got last night that we had a coupon for and we left a tip on the, on the free drink it was a dollar, so mom has to go pay a dollar before we get off the ship. Bye. All right, it's time to get off. We'll get in line. This is very interesting, and they will eventually scan us off. She's there. Come on, you can do it. All right, we're gonna walk all the way to the uh, port building. There's the ship for a final time. We'll go into the terminal, and then if you have a taxi or a shuttle, they'll be outside. All right, so here we are. You made it. I'm glad. Bye, hun. Here we are, and here is number one. You can see. Six, five, four, seventeen, sixteen, fifteen. You'll go to wherever that tag is. So we had number one. I see mom's suitcase. I don't see my suitcase, but I'm sure it's somewhere over here. I hope. Never lost the suitcase yet, knock on wood. Oh yeah, it's by mom's. Yes, the blue one. And you can get a porter like this, nice gentleman. And they'll help you out. Now we will follow the porter with our bags all the way out to where the taxis are. I told you it would be quick. You never believe me. Mom's always terrified it's going to take 12 years. 
Now we do have to go through customs, but we don't have anything to declare, so it's usually pretty quick. Exit. There are a few places to sit, and then you can see taxis right down here are all the reserved cars. They strangely didn't make us go through customs, so we got out pretty quick. Yeah, so we're waiting for our taxi now. All right, so we booked our taxi and it's a kind of bus shuttle, so we've got five other people, three, and we're waiting for two more, and then we're going to our hotel. Yes. So we'll put the site down below where we booked our taxi because it was $95 euros, 95 euros cash, as opposed to the taxis that you can grab here at the port are 200 euros to get back to Rome. It depends on the taxi, but the people on Facebook were saying 200, 195. If you just grab one without reserving it out there, who knows, you know? But. 95 for both of us, we thought was pretty good. Always. But that's how you get off the ship. All right, so once you are off the ship, it is completely up to you. We actually had a whole day in Rome, so we went to the Spanish Steps, the Trevi Fountain, the Colosseum. We walked around and had a good day before we had to head to the Rome airport early in the morning to get back to the States. But getting off the ship is pretty much the same. You want to make sure you get up early enough to make your flight or your uh, ferry, whatever you are doing, and just have a really good time. I hope this video helped if you're going on your first cruise or your next cruise and you're not sure what to do to get off the ship. And I will see you on our next cruise. Bye, y'all.